On a daily basis, 55-year-old Kangongoi Mungai attends his workshop situated in the outskirts of Thika town. <laughs> and today, what brings us here is to see his unique innovations, which he says has been with him from his youthful days. Surprisingly, in high school I was doing arts. When I went to Kaftek, uh, uh, I discovered my engineering and I discovered I enjoyed it more. So I was there briefly and then I got employed in a wind pump making company, wind pump. For this specific creation, he tells us, it originated from a raw idea of a friend before he decided to bring it to reality. I was talking to a technician, medical technician. Now how, that's how it was born. About me repairing their humidifiers, I used to do it. Repair their humidifiers. So the conversation continued. And then the technician said, I wish we could be able to make a system that cylinders can be shared. All right? So the obvious need, hmm? There is also a MP who had said we should be preparing every cylinder should be now made available for oxygen. All those things were inside us. Usually, one oxygen cylinder supplies oxygen to only one patient at a time. However, with his technology, one cylinder is able to supply oxygen to six patients. Those, those hospitals with, a, with, a, with bed capacity, they have one car cylinder and one car flow humidifier unit, all right? They can use that cylinder and then they can give people more oxygen. Especially now that the case, the COVID thing, situation is worsening. And we don't know where it will stop. If they start early, they can be ready. He carefully takes us through the invention that he made in a span of three months, taking his time to ensure everything meets the required standards. This gauge here is not necessary in the hospital. This is for my evaluation purposes to check whether it's working efficiently. This one reads the contents in there. This one is reading the happenings here. Okay. I have not put water here because these are the actual hospital things and I don't want to contaminate them. And as usual, everything comes with its fair share of challenges. This is the first one. I did it alone and I did it slowly because of fans. There is no artist. This one I've cut it shorter. This one I've cut it longer. All right. I had to, I had to do it and do it correctly first time. But of course, going on, I can train, I can train people to make it. Despite the challenges, he is optimistic that the innovation has the potential to save lives in the country, calling on health stakeholders to tap into such innovations. Hi, I've made this. I've got no use for it. Doctors, nurses, policy makers, county government, UCO, the what, what do you call them? The, the ministers of, of uh, health in the counties there. They should see this, they should say, hey, our hospital there, uko chini, kahide, ipelekewe. We have this at level five, kumeja watu, iwekwe pahali fulani. This thing can be used even when wash, ka, wash, uh, push comes to show, show. You can have this one in, under tents, okay? And mattresses, guy, guys give, being given oxygen, oxygen, this sort of system. This invention may just be what our hospitals will need at a time when coronavirus cases are rising in the country with most patients lacking oxygen. Now this invention is what our hospitals should come for. Robi Omondi, K24, reporting from Thika Town, Kiambu County.